Hi guys, welcome to my May favorites video for 2014. I know I didn't do a favorites video last month and I've been a little MIA on this channel, but it's going to get better because I am totally working on getting my summer fashion video up by next week, fingers crossed. I have one to two outfits left to film. Anyway, let's just get into all this stuff. As you guys may know, even though this is a fashion and beauty channel mainly, I always put in a mix of things in my favorites video. So you'll have some fashion and beauty mixed in with random and food. I love food. Who doesn't? Starting off with the fashion -y and beauty things, I'm showing you guys these really awesome lace-up wedge heels that I got from Forever 21. And I think I showed these in a haul, but I don't know if it was on my craft channel or on this one. These are really, really, really nice, and you'll see them in my upcoming summer fashion video soon. You would think that they aren't comfortable, but they actually are very comfortable and easy to walk in, no joke. I have this bottle of silkening oil treatment, and I'm not exactly sure how you say this, aquage, I could be totally wrong. The point of this stuff is that it's a heat protectant, and it also helps to kind of reduce frizz. My hair is just really frizzy. I have a ton of wavy hairs that stick out of the straight ones, so if I don't straighten it, it's literally just frizz mania, especially when it's humid out. So I do have a question for you guys. Have any of you guys gotten any type of straightening treatment that's like a semi-permanent straightening treatment on your hair? Would that help me? Yes or no? Let me know. Sorry for the awkward angle. But I do notice that even if I don't straighten my hair, this helps it look a little tiny bit better and just manages it a little bit more. Sirens outside. And as it says on the bottle, it really does make your hair feel a little bit more smooth as well, and it has a really nice smell to it. I got this at a local salon called Ethan Monroe, and I live in Oklahoma, Tulsa, Oklahoma right now, so I don't know where you guys can get this, but you can probably just look it up online and see. Now I have this giant bottle of hairspray, and it's by Joyco. I actually got this for free at BeautyCon last year in uh, L.A., but I actually hadn't started to use it until just a couple months ago or a few months ago. First of all, it's a giant bottle. I don't know how much it is, but I probably, if it's affordable, would get another one. This is Spray Power 8 to 10, so it's supposed to be a really strong hold. Even though it's a strong hold, you would think it would be really like flaky or make your hair hard, but it doesn't seem to do that, which is great, and it has a great smell, which is always a plus, but not a deciding factor. And it's good for guys, too, because my boyfriend uses it in the morning and when we're getting ready to go out and stuff. Not sure if you wanted me to tell you that. I don't know. Now I have some clothing articles. So I have been, and it's kind of weird that I'm like not talking here. Maybe I'll go back here for this one. Is this better? I feel like weird when my face is talking off camera. So I have been running since the beginning of the year, so since January 1st, I have been running on the treadmill at our apartment complex about twice a week. There's some weeks where if I was traveling or if I didn't feel well or something, then I skipped or sometimes I've done three times a week. I'm not a hardcore runner or anything. I used to do track in high school. I'm just trying to stay in shape and tone and build muscle and not lose weight, gain muscle. So that's what I'm trying to do and gain endurance. So I went on a rampage. I don't even know if rampage is a good word to describe something good. I went on a shopping spree for softy shorts and little tiny exercise workout shorts. So these actually are not, these are Reebok brand, but I like all of them. I just like the really short shorts that you wear. And I asked a really awkward question in a past video, which I don't feel is awkward. I asked like what kind of underwear you guys wear under these. Some of you guys said that it's actually supposed to be underwear, but mm -mm, no, these are shorts. <laughs> Oh wait, why did I, I said Sofi? I meant Nike Pros. Did I say Sofi? Anyway, I meant I went on a Nike Pro shopping spree. I have a lot more pairs than these, but I'm just showing you a couple of them. So I have like six of these Nike Pros, and then I have a Sofi and a Reebok and a pair from Arrow, which I actually really like the Arrow ones. Surprisingly, like I thought that. The uh, Nike ones would be the best, but these are a little thicker and you don't see panty lines. It's amazing. Like, I can wear any type of underwear under these that I want to. And I know, like, some of you guys said you don't wear underwear under these, but 
they're friggin' see-through. How do you do that? They are so see-through. You can see anything. Like, I don't want to be disgusting, but say you have, like, a tiny bit of stubble because, you know, we all shave our bikini line areas, hopefully. I mean, do what you want. But if you, seriously, if your hair has been growing for, like, two hours, you're going to see the friggin' stubble through the shorts. It is nasty so I have found that you have to wear the no-show underwear thong and uh, if I if you guys are still watching that's great if I see like a big click off and no one's watched the rest of the video because I'm talking about this I don't care literally with all these you have to wear seamless panties I never say panties otherwise you will see every single line and I don't feel comfortable not wearing underwear under them so I just found some seamless ones from Aerie and it's very nearly impossible to find seamless underwear. I'm just throwing that out there. I only found one selection at Aerie of the thong kind. Uh, all the ones at Victoria's Secret that are, I wanted to get boy shorts, but all the ones at Victoria's Secret have bows on them and I could probably cut them out, but still like you can see the seams through. So you have to have seamless. And the ones at Dick's Sporting Goods, don't even get me started. They were one size, Fits all workout panties. Why do I keep saying panties now? Not pleased, Sarah is not pleased. Not thrilled at all. The point is, I wear these to work out. That was a long story, but no, you guys need to know stuff like that. If you're gonna get this, what to wear under them. I do really like these, even though if I'm wearing a sports bra with them, they kind of squeeze me in the exact wrong place, and then I feel like I have a fupa because it squeezes at my tummy that has like a little bit of skin, and it looks really like a muffin top at that point, so, Folding the waistband down would have helped me, which I'm, I'm doing now. <laughs> but then you see the tag, so I gotta cut the tags off. Oh my gosh. That's a story about these. I have patterns and colors galore, and I love them, and I wear them with my Victoria's Secret sports bras, and sometimes tank tops if it's a little cooler. And I'm very proud of myself. I know this is a terrible, terrible, terrible time for anyone who's competitive in the running field or does distance running for a living or anything like that even though 1.5 miles is what I do twice a week and that's not a lot but I was always a sprinter and not into endurance at all so for me that's like I don't know I get bored and tired at the same time and I like to kick it at the end so I can run that in under 14 minutes easily well not easily but I can run it in under 14 minutes now. Hopefully I can get it down to like under 12 or under 10. That would be nice. <laughs> I just threw everything. I have this top and it zips in the front. I love this. It's a crop top and I think I got it last year or the year before at Windsor. And I haven't really worn it much because I didn't have a lot of high-waisted things at that point. This is wonderful to wear with any pair of high-waisted shorts or skirts and I think there's a hair on it that's mine so I love that it zips in the front I like that there's a gold zipper usually I love silver jewelry and I don't really wear gold even though today I have goldish earrings on like coppery gold anyway I am talking a lot so I'll show you a picture of what this would look like on me and I actually wore it with this skirt to my friend Kim's birthday party and it just looks really pretty this skirt is from Kohl's by the way and this is one of my faves as well because I have not seen a pattern like this, like, ever. I don't know, it's just amazing. I just, I like how different it is. I love it. It's high-waisted, it has a nice waistband, it's a nice short length, which I love. We'll kind of do some random stuff. So these are actually room decor, home decor projects. And if you guys watch my So Craftastic channel, then you'll know, you or you know already, that I made these a few weeks ago. And they are yarn-wrapped glass bottles or vases. And they are just so easy to make and affordable and very pretty and great for the summery, warm months. I even have more that are sitting over in the corner. They're beautiful. Kind of fitting in with those vases, I have a new favorite glue. Even though I used to use this years ago when I was in Girl Scouts, I didn't realize that I liked it back then, but using this on the yarn bottles is so much easier than using Elmer's glue because Elmer's glue is more runny and this is more like a paste. So it is a lot easier to kind of wrap the yarn and like hold it in place, I guess. So tacky glue. And I have been really liking yarn and hoping to do more yarn projects. 
So I actually bought some yarn looms a while ago and I made bracelets on this loom and I have other ones that are different sizes so hopefully I'll get into like knitting um, hats or scarves on the loom or something and actually learning how to knit and crochet at some point but for now I just like yarn projects. I think yarn projects are very fun so I think you guys should look up a bunch of them and do them. Another random thing is the logo board game and I got this a couple months back for my boyfriend and I to play around the apartment. We like to do different things during the weekend so we get puzzles to do, we play Wii U, we, um, I mean we go out to like we'll go out to restaurants, go out to parks and festivals and things of that sort and hopefully road trips soon. This is just really fun and it kind of tests you on all the different brands that are out there. I like it, I like it a lot. Gum. I have really been liking Big Red Gum. My boyfriend suggested that I try, even though I've had this years ago, like I used to, cinnamon gum is just one of my favorite things ever. But I was really sad because I was getting five brand flair for the longest time and this is my sacred last pack of it. I have not been able to find cinnamon five gum at the stores, any store, in a very long time. I always bought the three packs so that's why I have one left and I've been saving it. But I got the three pack of Big Red and I've been liking this pretty much just as much, as much, much, much. <laughs> It's delicious. I like food a lot, as I've said, so here I have some almost gone Ortega taco sauce, medium, because we gotta have a little kick in our pep in our step. We gotta have a little kick, though, in our sauce. Your tongue needs a kick. We've been making a lot of chicken tacos here, and I like making dinners. I love homemade stuff, and this stuff is good, even though it's not homemade, but... I have a brand new bottle up in the cupboards, by the way, that's just waiting to be open. I should have talked about this when I was talking about my workout shorts, but before I run, I like to have a protein shake because I was noticing that a lot of times beforehand, if I didn't eat enough or if I ate too much or if I drank too much or opposite, you know, I would get a stomach cramp and I hate those. and. I would get really, I don't know, some days I would feel like I didn't have any energy even though I would eat lunch. I eat lunch, I eat, but after I started drinking a protein shake, I felt a lot better. I drink this about two or two and a half hours before I run, and then I might have a little snack after as well, but this just really helps me, and peanut butter has some protein in it as well. So what I do is I mix the serving size of protein powder and I'll mix it with some chocolate almond milk and then I'll also put a heaping spoonful of peanut butter in and it's actually like a heaping forkful because for some reason I mix it with a fork because it gets kind of clumpy so I feel like the fork just helps it dissolve better. I don't know if I showed you these muffins before in a video maybe a while back but these are the Target Archer Farms brand muffins and actually we're out of the ones that I wanted to show you but the double chocolate ones like chocolate chocolate chip those have been on my faves list for the past few months and I don't think I mentioned those I'm not sure but I just had it. there's a little muffin crumb um, so I recommend those to you if you haven't tried them yet pineapple I love fresh pineapple I love fresh fruits in general strawberries are my favorite but I find that a pineapple is actually a little bit more refreshing I don't know if it's better for you but any fresh fruit is gonna be good and it's a little more convenient because there's so much of this guy that when you cut it up you can eat it for a few days and it just requires one initial cutting um, session and then it's yours with strawberries and raspberries you have to wash them right before you eat them I mean like they stay better if you just like wash the ones that you want right before you eat them and then if you're in a hurry like you don't feel like washing them before you eat them with this they're just chopped up in the fridge so I've been really liking this sometimes if I eat too much pineapple it makes my tongue sore or my taste buds like kind of swell I don't know what's up with that but I don't care because it's worth it. My taste buds are sensitive or something, but they like it. They're just like, oh my gosh. Finally, I don't think I've told you guys on here that I got an iPad a couple months ago and 
I have, it feels like, I don't like when hair is like crossing my neck, it feels weird. I got an iPad Air a couple months ago. I mainly bought this iPad for business reasons because I figured that when I'm doing craft shows in the future and if I'm just out somewhere and someone asked to see my portfolio of my work or my website or anything, it would be easier to show them on this if they ask like, oh, what do you do? Oh, can I see your website or anything like that? or your YouTube, you know what I meant. But it would just be easier to show them on a bigger screen than on my iPhone. So this is really nice. It's the iPad Air and yeah. I bought it from Best Buy and then I got this case from Target. It's okay. I wanted a leopard print one or something. I don't know. So I have some games and photo editing apps and if you guys want in the future I can do like a what's on my iPad or what's on my iPhone or both. And the final thing I want to mention in this video, I guess I don't really have any TV shows even though Friends is on right now and Friends is like in every single favorites video of mine, but I'm going to say Friends for this month as well. I guess I don't really have other TV shows or games or f songs, phones, songs to show you or tell you guys about. I don't even know what new songs I like right now. Are there any? Problem by Ariana Grande is really good. I like her a lot and her music. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to my Sarah Lynn Fashion channel, which is this one of course, then please subscribe on the way out. Or don't leave and just watch a bunch more videos. You know, whatever is cool. I hope you guys stay tuned to see my summer fashion video, which I'm hoping is my very next video on this channel. And I will see you guys soon. Have a great rest of the day. Bye! I always like wave really weird, but it's okay. Bye! As you guys know, ooh, ow. <laughs> Even if something doesn't hurt, I usually say ow.